Oh, welcome back. Oscar winner Anne Hathaway has been delighting audiences ever since her breakout success in The Princess Diaries. And more than 20 years, she is a force in Hollywood. Her latest project, uh, We Crashed, it's a new limited series on Apple TV+. Plus. It's inspired by actual events. It tells the story of the rise and seismic fall of the WeWork startup and the love story at the center of it all. Take a look. <laughs> it's just, it's off. Totally off. You know, you walk in and you just feel like claustrophobic. Absolutely. So I just want to go up, blow it out. Finally got something to breathe. First thing I thought when I walked in, open it up. That's what it needs. It needs just rise and grind, rise and grind. <laughs> Yes! Feel free to look around. I imagine you measurements, etc. Yes, my love. I'll meet you in the car. Okay, you sure you're ready? Yes, yes, it's a full right. time. My love, you're not wearing a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and Hathaway, and good morning. Good morning. This, How wonderful to see it's, you. I have to say, I'm just so delighted that you're sitting here. You're I in know. person. We're together. We're together. We went real deep just during just the commercial ten seconds break. Before. We both we're, started crying. We were having a little <laughs> moment. You know what? The pandemic, though, has taught a lot of lessons to all of us. Yeah. Um, you had a new baby during the pandemic. That was one of the I beautiful did. moments. But what? What did it teach you? What did you learn about yourself? Well, that's what we were talking about during yeah. the during the break was I was saying that, you know, how it's so significant to be back here with people. And I have to say that in moments like this, I really used to let my nerves get the best of me. I'm still a human being. Sometimes yeah. they creep up. But I just, during the pandemic, went, you can't give your life away anymore. No. You can't give your life away to that. You got to find a way through. You got to be okay with whoever you are in that moment because you moment. don't want to miss anymore. You that's know? it. We've learned that. and I know, hope so. And we're going to keep learning it. You know, it's not. I like your, <laughs> your vulnerability. I feel like you say what you feel. And I, I was watching an interview you did yesterday. And you, one of the comments you said, it was you were having fun with the story. But you said, I'm not the most confident person. <laughs> no. And no. that struck me because mm -hmm. I think people would look at you and say, wow. She's won an Oscar. She's got a great family. She's got, you know, yeah. all those things. But confidence doesn't necessarily, that does not equate often. No, 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 no. That doesn't necessarily show up in the DNA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and it's something I think you have to, I think it's something you have to learn. It's something you have to just figure out how to be at mm -hmm. peace with yourself. Because like I said, it's your life. Yeah, and you, yeah, you've got to live it on your terms. By the way, do you love being a mom of two? Oh, of course. Come on. Of course. What's the best it's part so of two? delicious. Yes, what is it? And my two year old right now, he says, delicious. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, mm, mommy, delicious. <laughs> do you, have you, like, what has your family, um, how has it affected the way your professional life works? I know mine changed completely. Oh, my. I yeah. mean, I'm sure you understand this. Yeah. It's just logistics, logistics, yeah. logistics. Mm -hmm. how, how are we doing? What are we doing? Where is, mm -hmm. who needs what? And do yeah. we have a sandwich? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Snacks, snacks, snacks. Snacks. And, yeah. Um, and, yeah, but it's, I mean, for me, it's just, just going back to what I was mm -hmm. talking about. Also, I, it just, there's so much joy. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like they get, bring an innate purpose to everything. Yes. And um, I mean, I have, I, I, I could go on about it, <laughs> yeah. uh, but it also leaves me a little speechless. Just, I love that. And I feel, and I just want to say, I just feel really lucky. It's something I've always wanted and I'm just so lucky that it happened to me. Um, let's talk about your, your project, which is fascinating. You worked with Jared Leto, who, <laughs> yes. by the way, you said did not, when you met him on the set and you shot for six months, the guy never broke character no. during the entire period? Not once. I've never seen anything like it. Wait, so, like, what about when, did you ever have a meal with him and was he still that person? No. No, no he, you know, I just, I, I was fascinated by his process. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a really, and, and I have one that's really receptive mm -hmm. and I just, um, and I think that, especially in a story mm -hmm. like the one we're telling, where we're playing two people wildly in love, yeah. we had to build a certain connection yeah. and culture between us. And so if that's what worked for him, then it worked for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever we needed to discuss practical things like, you know, how a scene was going to work, um, I wouldn't call him Jared. I would call him Motek. And oh. he wouldn't call me Annie. He would call me Rivka. And so mm -hmm. we kind of had those pet names for each other that were our characters' mm -hmm. pet names. And we just... We just opened to each other. It was, re and then in between takes, we, there wasn't a lot of chit chat. 
but that we were always connected. Uh -huh. And um, it was it was such a beautiful experience, I have to say. Um, you, I was really inspired working with him. And what do you hope people take from this? Because this is a fascinating story. I only knew like the very small layer of it. Well, <clears throat> the thing that I, we were hoping to do with mm -hmm. the series was to show that these are human beings. Mm -hmm. And I want to make that very clear, is that there is no uh, judgment of these mm -hmm. people, and especially no judgment from me towards Rebecca. Um, I mm -hmm. recognize I'm a mm -hmm. human being and she is a human being. Mm -hmm. And for me, what a human being is, it's we're a mixture of admirable traits and we're, and we're also, we got to work on mm -hmm. ourselves. And there's things that we're always working on. And so, uh, you know, there's been a documentary, there's yeah. been books, there's been, yeah. we know the story. Yes. So this was an opportunity to look at how people, and everything I heard about Rebecca mm -hmm. was that she authentically meant everything mm -hmm. that she said. Mm -hmm. How, what happens when someone, I don't know, isn't quite able to practice what they preach mm -hmm. yet. Mm, that's yeah that's well put this is fascinating i think people are going to love it you are fantastic in it jared is too annie thank you so much for being with us Honey, oh so good to see you i know you. holding hands in person <laughs> we want everyone to know we crash premieres this friday on apple tv plus hey thanks for watching our youtube channel find your favorite recipes celebrity interviews uplifting stories shop our favorite deals and so much more with the today app download it now